Hi YouTubers, David Smith here. Welcome to my home tutorial. Today's lesson is going to be on solving simultaneous equations using the elimination method. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have two equations that we're going to solve simultaneously. Now the first thing we need to do is to label the equations. So I'll label that number one and I'll label this equation number two. Now if we notice on equation 1 we can multiply this by 2 to give us the same value of y as for equation 2. So 2 times equation 1 gives us 6x plus 4y equals 72 and we'll label this one as equation 3. Now if equation 2 is subtracted from equation 3 the terms involving y will be eliminated so if we say equation 2 is subtracted from equation 3 we get 6x plus 4y equals 72 and 5x plus 4y equals 64 so subtracting those this gives us x and just for completeness I'll put plus 0y equals 8 so we now have our value for x so x equals 8. Okay, so I've made a note of value, the value of x in the top right hand corner, so x equals 8. Now, taking equation 1 or equation 2, whichever you, whichever you want to work with, we substitute this value into the equation. So I'll use equation 1. So if I say 3 times 8 so x equals 8 plus 2y equals 36 so 3 times 8 is 24 plus 2y equals 36 so I subtract 24 from each side so that will give me 2y equals 36 minus 24 Therefore, 2y equals 12. So y is going to equal 12 divided by um, 2, sorry, 2, which equals 6. So y equals 6. Okay, so I've made a note of y equals 6 up there. So the only thing left to do is to write the solution. So the full solution is x equals 8, y equals 6. Now you'll notice that the idea behind this method is to multiply one or both equations by a suitable number so that either the number of y's or the number of x's are the same so that the subtraction eliminates that unknown. It may be possible to eliminate an unknown by addition as well. So we'll have a look at that in the next example. Okay, so here's another example. I'll give you a few minutes to work through it yourself and then I'll come back and work through it with you. Okay, welcome back. So let's have a look at solving these two equations simultaneously. As with the previous example, the first thing I'll do is label the equations in this way. So I've got equation 1 and equation 2. Now suppose we're going to choose to eliminate the number of y's in both equations. We need to make these the same by multiplying equation 1 by 2 
and equation 2 by 3. So equation 1, 2 times equation 1 gives 10x minus 6y equals 52 and we'll label that as equation 3. Now equation 2 we multiply that by 3 so we'll say 3 times equation 2 gives us 12x plus 6y equals 102 and we'll call that one equation 4. Now if these equations are added because we've got a negative 6 and a positive 6 there then we, we, we get 10x minus 6y equals 52 and 12x plus 6y equals 102 and we're going to add them together so we get 22x plus for completeness again 0y equals 154 so again solving for x we get x equals 154 divided by 22 which equals 7 so I'll write x equals 7 in the top right hand corner so I've now got my value of x so all that's left to do is to substitute it into either one of the equations so again I'm going to substitute it into equation 1 so I get 5 times 7 minus 3y equals 26 so this gives 35 minus 3y equals 26 so minus 3y equals 26 minus 35 so minus 3y equals minus 9 so solving this for y y equals 3 so the solution is x equals 7 y equals 3 okay so here's another example I'll give you a couple of minutes to work through it yourself then I'll come back and I'll work through it with you right welcome back the first thing we need to do is again label these equations as 1 and 2 now let's have a look at making the x value the same so to make the x value is the same we'll multiply equation 1 by 4 and we'll multiply equation 2 by 3 so we'll say 4 times equation 1 gives us 12x plus 8y equals 16 and we'll label that as equation 3 we'll then say 3 times equation 2 gives us 12x plus 15y equals 51 and we'll label that as equation 4 now as we can see we've got the x values the same so that is leading us down the, the path of subtracting one from the other so if I say subtract equation 3 from equation 4 we get for completeness I'll put 0x plus 7y equals 
35. So from this I can find the value of y. So y equals 35 divided by 7. Therefore y equals 5. Okay, so I've made a note of my value of y in the top right hand corner. Now all that's left is for me to plug this value into any of these two equations. So again I'll use equation 1. So I have 3x plus 2 times 5 equals 4. This gives me 3x plus 10 equals 4. So I can subtract 10 from both sides. So this will leave me with 3x equals 4 minus 10. So 3x equals minus 6. I can then take the 3 to the other side which will give me x equals minus 6 divided by 3. Therefore x equals minus 2. OK, so I've made a note of the value of x in the top right hand corner. So now I write the solution is x equals minus 2, y equals 5. Now if I want to prove that these values are correct all I have to do is plug them into any of these equations. So I'm going to plug them into number 1 just to check to make sure that they are right. So we'll say 3 times the value of x which is minus 2 and I'll put that in brackets plus 2 times the value of y which is 5 equals 4. So I have 3 times minus 2 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 plus 2 times 5 is 10 and 10 minus 6 equals 4 so that is correct. Okay, that's the final example. Thanks for watching. If you'd like me to work through any particular examples, post them in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share the video.